Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back. Super quick tutorial. I like to do these as fast as I can, so let me just shut up. I'm going to show you how to make a 90s anime filter in Procreate, but there's like two or three different ways you could do this. I think two. Two different ways. Three if you have Photoshop. But this is basically what it's going to look like. This is the final thing. Anyways, this is basically what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how I got here in Procreate. Super easy, super quick. So let me get rid of all these layers. Show you what I started out with. Okay, so I finished my character design, right? This is my character, Sky. A lot of you already know who he is. Finish this, all right? I did a super simple background. It's like a neighborhood, dark, it's nighttime. My character doesn't look like he's in the nighttime. He looks like he's just like in a bright light. So I added like a filter or a uh, multiply layer. And um, I just like hit him with like the uh, rim light. So it looks like there's like a street light or something like that. It's just beaming on him. I did this super fast just to get it done. So then what I did was duplicate that layer, that whole folder, flatten. So then you just have this character by itself now. And I duplicate the background, put it underneath the character, and then I merge those two together. Okay. Let me delete these. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Okay. So you have it. It's like it's on its own layer now. Okay. Got that? Okay. So we'll rename this to. We'll just call this OG because it's the original. Oh, oh, I guess it's O now. Okay. So duplicate it three times. So now we got three. Remove the bottom one because we're saving that one for later, just in case we need to go back. So make a layer above the top. Put it on red. Drag and drop. Put that on multiply. So then it'll look like that. Merge those two. Okay. Make that easier. Tap on the red layer. Merge down. So now you have this one and you have the red one. So hide the red layer. Go to layer underneath. Make a new layer in between those. Put it on green. Drag and drop. Put it on multiply. Tap it. Wait, multiply. Go back to multiply. So good. All right, tap it, press merge down. So now we have a green one and a red one. Green, red, green, red. Okay, hide the green one, hide the red one. Go to this one now, make a new layer above that. Put it on blue, drag and drop. Put it on multiply, merge them. So now we have blue, we have green, we have red. So what you're gonna do is put the red on screen, put the green on screen then it's gonna look like that you can leave the blue alone you don't got to touch it then what you're gonna do is go back to your red layer tap on the arrow tool and move the move it a little bit to the right just a smidge you see that now it looks like 3d then you go to the green layer tap on the arrow tool move it a little bit to the left just a little bit now it kind of looks blurry zoom out a bit okay then I merge the blue, the green, and the red. Merge all three of them together. Okay, there you go. Then I duplicate that layer. Put it on light and color. Then I go over to the effects. Put on Gaussian blur. And I put a Gaussian blur to about 3.2. Then I merge those two layers. And then hit it with the noise. Put the noise on about two maybe three also 2.9 that's basically it that's like a super super official way i would say it looks better than the other way i'm gonna show you but that's how you do it and then you can add like your own little subtitle it's more like a little anime looks pretty cool i think and then okay so merge or get rid of that so then we go back to the very first layer we duplicated, right? This is the original. This is the filter. An easy way is duplicate that layer, right? So we have a copy. And then you just go to the effects tool, put on chromatic aberration. And then you want to bring this up a lot, actually. You might have to bring it up a lot for the effect to work. Maybe displace. Whoa. whoa. There we go. Put on displace, play around with it. 
you saw what I just did, played around with it a little bit. Then you're gonna tap on noise. Bring it up to about three. And then you, that's how you got it right there. But if you wanna give it that dreamy look, you, before you put the noise, make sure you duplicate it, put it on the light and color. Gaussian blur. Mm, two, two is fine. Merge those. Noise. I always forget to put the noise first. There we go, noise. So that's how it looks using just the effect filters in Procreate. This is how it looks if you do it manually, basically. I kind of like this one better because it gives like a little yellow tint and that's kind of like the vintage look. And then to do your little text, you just drop it, drop it on the top and then that's it. But basically that's it. And if you have Photoshop, it's the same thing as this way. Uh, the manual way in Photoshop, you just do the layer, the colors with the multiply. I, don't know. I hope this was clear. I tried to make it as clear as I could, as fast as I could. If it wasn't clear, please let me know. And if you want to like a tutorial on how I did the background super quick, let me know. I try to make these tutorials as fast as I can. But if you have any more questions, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come to the stream, ask me questions. Also, shout out to all my new Patreons. I got custom brushes over there on Patreon. If you want to check them out, links in my bio and have a good day. Hope you like this. If it works, please tag me in your art. That'd be really dope. I would love to see it. Instagram, Twitter is below also. Have a good Friday. Peace out.